I grew up in upstate New York. I'm one of nine kids, very loud, active household. It was a lot of fun living in a house with that many children, but when I turned 18 and I went to college, I was very happy to go and get my own room for the first time. I didn't grow up interested in math and science. I actually veered away from it. My parents were very focused on getting all of us to attend science camp. When I was in eighth grade, I attended that camp, and one of the projects we got was to build a bridge as a team, and fortunately, my team won. I saw some accomplishment there, and I said, you know what, this makes me want to be an engineer. That was the moment the light went off, and I said, I want to be an engineer. I started off as a freshman undeclared, but once I got into my core engineering classes, I focused on mechanical because I loved car engines. Every senior is required to complete a team project and we needed a sponsor. BAE was the sponsor of my team project. We would travel to the BAE facility in Endicott every week, meet with the engineers, talk to them about the scope and the plans for the project because it got me understanding what it's like to be an engineer once you graduate. When I graduated, I entered the automotive industry as a design engineer. I eventually transitioned from strict engineering work to more of management work, which gave me a different level of responsibilities and understanding. It's been fantastic being able to see the world throughout my career. I went to see the pyramids and there's a gentleman that rents out camels. He said, stand up on the camel. I was very high off the ground, so I wasn't sure I wanted to do it, but I figured when's the next time I'm gonna be at the pyramids on a camel? So I stood up on the camel, I did a little pose, and then I got down as quickly as possible. Every time I come back, I take a little piece of that experience with me. It really gave me a good grasp of how we're all connected and how cultural understanding is important in our job. So how I came to BAE, I saw an opportunity to become a program manager out of Nashua. And I remember working with BAE when I was an undergraduate and I thought this would be great if I could come back and work with this organization. So I came in as a program manager for a successful production program. I'm responsible for schedule, scope, and cost, which is a great opportunity, very challenging, but very beneficial and I've learned a lot being here. We have operations, we have engineering, we have finance, we have program management. All different areas coming together, all different pieces, kind of like a puzzle. As a program manager, I see myself as the one outside that's trying to put that puzzle together and make sure that we're all aligned in meeting the same goal, which is getting the puzzle completed. When I hear the mission statement, we protect those who protect us, it really solidifies the importance of the work that I do. The products we make are used in the field and we want to make sure that we're bringing the soldiers home so that they can see their families. That's why I think the mission, we protect those who protect us, is so important. The way I always remember the advice from my parents is to always remain focused. Every time I veer off, I have those memories of my mother sitting down and my father talking to me and saying, you may have run into a challenge here, this may look like it's difficult, you may think you're not on the right path, but always remember to look at the goal at the end of the road. So every time I have a challenge, no matter where I am in my career, I always remember those words from my parents of staying focused and I get back on track.